Great night, sure to send a chill down your spine. Welcome to Creep Night. Dolls can be very creative sculptures that someone makes, pouring their heart and soul into them. The feeling is mutual when someone buys a doll, as well. But sometimes, what seems like a special love can turn into something far worse than anyone could ever imagine. <laughs> My mother is always buying me dolls. I get it, she loves them, but for me, they are the creepiest things I have ever had to look at. Especially when she brings home these weird looking clown dolls that she knows I hate. I can feel their weird lips smile at me and even worse, their eyes peering into me as if they are trying to steal my soul. When my mother eventually ran out of room for her dolls, I was happy because I thought that this would be the end of the crazy doll obsession, but no, I was wrong, dead wrong. Jackie, I need your help. I raced down the stairs to see what she needed help with and what it was, and that is when I noticed it, the most hideous looking doll wrapped in my mother's hands. Look what I got for you. She said, as she smiled at me, I grew annoyed and said, Oh no, that thing is not going anywhere near my room, or me. I am sure that this had hurt my mother's feelings, and I felt bad. I saw her smile flip from a smile to a slight frown. Okay, 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 look, I'm sorry, you just caught me off guard, that's all. I had lied because I was already annoyed, but I really didn't want to hurt her feelings even more than I already had. So I went up and smiled. Thanks, Mom, I said with a toothy grin. I knew you would love it. She handed me the hideous doll, and I walked into my room. I had the doll behind my stereo. I really didn't want this thing looking at me. I also didn't want watching me 24-7. It was creepy. The doll had long red hair and deep green eyes. Her teeth stuck out like a beaver. She wore a green and tan dress. After I put her behind the stereo, I sat on my bed and started to read a book called Creep Night. While I was reading, I could feel this very weird staticky feeling in my room. You know, that creepy vibe that you get when someone is watching you, but you're trying your best not to turn around and yell, what can I help you with? Yeah, that kind of feeling. I shrugged it off because I really wanted to see what happened to Jennifer, the shrinking girl, but that feeling kept stabbing in my gut. I looked up for what seemed like a second. At first, I thought my eyes were playing tricks on me because at that moment, I thought I had seen the doll move. I rolled my eyes at myself and figured I was just getting tired and maybe I should go to bed. Later that night, I had a pretty bad dream about that damn doll. Its faded ivory skin began to crack and it deformed into this demon-like creature. I could see its green eyes begin to glow at me. It raised its arms at me, almost as if it was going to chase me. I woke up in a cold sweat. That was it, I said to myself. This doll has got to go. When I got up the next day, the doll was not in its spot. I could feel my stomach drop. And if you have ever had that kind of feeling, then you know something bad is about to happen. I looked all over the place for this doll. My eyes scanned the room, and I could feel my heart begin pounding loudly, and my breath began to hyperventilate. My eyes stopped on a small shelf 
where I kept my rock collection. The rocks had been spilled out onto the floor, and the doll had been sitting in their place. I rushed over to the doll and snatched her off of it and put her back behind the radio. I went to my mother right after. Mother, I do not think I can keep this that doll anymore. Why? Because it is creepy, plus I think it moves. Oh, Jackie, don't be silly. Dolls do not move on their own. I'm being serious. My mother did not want to hear any more, so she shrugged me off and went back to whatever it was she was doing. Once again, I was stuck with this creepy ass doll and I found it very hard to fall asleep at night because at night I could have sworn she was staring down at me from behind that stereo. Later in the night, when I finally did fall asleep, I could hear this little chuckle. <laughs> I looked up. But to find the doll standing above me. And this time, I was not dreaming. She stepped closer to my face, and her beaver-like teeth were now pointing at me. You know, Jackie, you should be nicer to your dolls, she said to me in this weird squeaky voice. I tried to swat her away, but it was no use. Aw, oh, come on, Jackie. All I want is to be your friend, she said as if to mock me. Get away from me, I shouted at her as I tried to swat away. That's not very nice, she said to me as she inched her face closer to mine. She held her hand out to my face, and I could feel something very odd happening. I could not breathe. The breath seemed to be half sucked out of me. All I wanted was a shelf on my own, but I think I want something else instead. You see, I'm sick of being a doll. I think I want to trade places with you. <laughs> she laughed a wicked evil laugh as she continued to suck the soul out of me. I could see my own body in a wide-eyed stance. Then I felt my soul go into the doll's body. Then I saw her soul go into mine. So here I am, stuck as a doll now. Every now and then I see myself come over and dust the dust off of me. But at least I can say this. She treats me nicer than I treated her. Dolls. You got to love their unique stance on life. So when you get a doll, remember to treat it with love and kindness. For you might end up like Jackie. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Creep Night.